Hello Geeks and Gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to be reviewing the Netflix movie Bright starring Will Smith, Joel Edgerton, directed by David Ayers. Now, the internet has been talking about this movie a lot. I've seen some publications say that this was the worst movie of the year. I've uh, seen a lot of debate uh, on this movie and I haven't looked at any of the, the specific reviews like Rotten Tomatoes or anything like that, but for me, before I get into it, now, when I review a movie, I like to be very vague. I don't like to get into specifics of first act, second act, third act, anything like that, because I think that once you implement that, then the person watching your review is going to be waiting for that. Okay, well, he said that this act fell apart for him. Let me be watching for that. I don't like when reviewers do that, so I don't do that. Very vague, very general. So, all I'll say about the movie is that it takes place in our world, but it intertwines orcs and elves and magic, okay? That's a pretty cool concept. So the concept, the ideas, and the themes involved with the movie are actually pretty cool. The execution, the script, not so much. Um, and when you have world-class actors like Will Smith and Joel Edgerton, especially Will Smith, you would think that there would be a lot a lot better chemistry with, with those two guys, and the chemistry just did not work for me in this movie. Um, so again, I would not recommend this movie if it were in theaters, because I don't think it's worth someone's time to get in your car, drive to the theater, go through all that mumbo-jumbo, get buy expensive drink and popcorn, then sit through 20 or 30 minutes of previews, and then watch the movie, and then you know, get into your car and go back home. I don't think it's worth that. But this is a Netflix movie. It's a Netflix movie with around an 80 or $90 million budget. So considering it's on Netflix, considering the players involved, I would definitely recommend checking this movie out simply for the ideas and the themes. Um, whether the execution works for you, that's completely up to you. It didn't work for me, but I do think all things considered, I would recommend watching this movie and then you can make your own mind up. But it's definitely not the worst movie of the year simply because of the concept that surrounds the movie. That makes it interesting enough. And then you have one of the most charismatic actors in the history of Hollywood and Will Smith. So Will Smith, Will Smith automatically makes something worth checking out every time he's in it. So that's, that's my general thoughts on Bright. If I was to give it a score, I would put it around a 5 probably. Again, I don't think it's the worst movie of the year, but I don't think it's a very good movie either. But there is enough in this movie to make it interesting to where you should check it out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how you thought of Bright. Did you Have you watched it yet? Are you considering it? Has the internet mob turned you off to it? Let me know. And also check out geeksandgamers.com. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.